Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, welcome back to the channel. Y'all know what to do, man. If y'all new, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You'll be back, I promise you. Uh, this channel is growing, man. It's growing daily. You know, I get like 15 to 20, you know, new subscribers a day. It's kind of hard to grow on here on YouTube, like other niches, or is it is that the right word, niche? Because of the fact that not everybody's always looking for x-ray material, you know? This is things that people either look for during the summer when they're trying to find out what they want to do for college and what program they want to choose. And again, whenever I think classes start in December, so December or January, they start looking for like career paths. So this is the only time that, you know, people really look into like certain modalities and certain careers. So it's not it's not that fast. It's not that easy to grow on this page. But if you're new here and you like it, consider subscribing, share it to your friends, family. I mean, I give you good information to help you make a good, solid decision, you know, for you guys, you know. And also follow me here. Yep, that's my Instagram. Same thing, the X-ray zone. Um, I like it there a lot better too, because even though I don't have a lot of followers and I'm growing little by little, I can DM you. I can DM you voice messages, voice, you know, yeah, messages, and, and it's easier to get the content and the material you need out there um, to answer questions and all that. And it's free, man. I'm not charging you anything, you know. So consider me there. And also this one, yeah, it's TikTok. You know, it's not the X-ray zone, but it's one dash. Rad Tech and then at Juan Hernandez. You'll find me. See this, you'll see this mug on there. Go ahead and follow me on there. I drop little that's more like little funny stuff that I drop here and there. But also with knowledge and everything else. But on this video, guys, I want to give you three ways to get into radiology tech program in 2025. You know, because everybody's always like, you know, I don't know what to do. I know what's the proper way of doing it, what's not the proper way, or you know, how can I get done with it faster? So the last one is the best one. Well, not, I don't know if it's the best one, but the last one is something that I didn't think was possible, but stay to the end and I got you. And I might throw a bonus in there, we'll see. So the first one is this. Yeah, man, your traditional state college. You know, a lot of people always get confused, man. They're like, oh, if I go to state college, is, is radiology tech the same thing as x-ray tech or what? They, they give me another name, like x-ray technician or whatever, like, Bottom line, if you go to a state college, they should have a radiology technologist program, which is a two-year program. And the only hard thing about your traditional way, which is state college, is the fact that you had to do all your prerequisites first. And I think that, not I think, most, well, I think because most, most schools are different, you know, state college varies per state college, right? But for the most part, you take anatomy one and two. You had to take college algebra, microbiology. And once you get all your prereqs out the way that the school wants you to have for that for the x-ray program, then you have to apply. And I think you have 200 applicants for probably, for, for probably 20 chairs for the year. And that's what makes it hard. You know, that's what makes it hard to to really like stick it out, man, because, you know, you you know, you want that instant gratification. You don't want to have to wait for so long. You already took a year, year and a half to do your prereqs. And I got to wait another year if you don't get in. So I can see how that can be a hard, a hard way to like wait, you know, like, man, I don't want to wait longer to go to school. I want to do it now, which I, I totally understand. The only reason I always push people to go to the traditional programs is because there's a couple of reasons. But for the first reason, it's so much cheaper, you know, than going to the other routes and your credits actually transfer. So say you get into x-ray, right? And you're like, you know what, man, I like this. I really like what I'm doing, but I want to get deeper into patient care. And you can get your bachelor's, they transfer it, and you want to go to PA school, you can do that. Or you want to go to full MD school, you can do that. But you'll, your state college credits will always transfer to other state colleges and universities. So what I mean by that is, like, I live in South Florida, right? So if you go to South Florida, you go to Palm Beach State College. If you go there and you get all your credits, your credits will transfer to University of Florida, University of, you know, Gain, like Tallahassee, you know. So that's the main reason because your credits stay with you forever and they always transferable that's the that's not that's one reason i say it and the second reason is that as you as i said before there's only 200 there's 200 applicants for 20 seats which means that they only take the best of the best which means that you're going to have a way better education with students that really really want to learn instead of just being there because they paid for it you know so that's something i think about whenever you're like man you know i think it's like this should i wait should i not and uh, just for bonus, if you don't get in, the best thing for you to do is to get your bachelor's in something. Don't wait around. Get get your bachelor's in, even if it's management or, you know, health science, 
get your bachelor's and get some kind of medical experience, whether it's working in a hospital, doing, you know, uh, front desk, whatever. That's for another day. But yeah, don't just wait around. Okay. Now, the second way is this. Yeah. Your traditional private college. You know, I always kind of try to like push people away from going to private colleges only because of the fact that they're so expensive, man. So expensive. You know, I believe, you know, I think it runs between 40 and 50,000. And that's when you go straight to private school with no kind of prerequisites, no math, no anatomy, no nothing. Now, this is what I tell people. Go to go to your state college, get all your prerequisites done, apply to the state college. If you don't get in, then go to a private college because now you got your core, you got your core classes that will transfer to us to a private college. So instead of you paying 50,000, now you're paying 30. Now you're like, you know what, man, it's more manageable, 30,000. You know, when I get out, I can handle it, you know. But when you go in with nothing and you have to pay, you know, 50,000, you're like, man, 50,000 is a lot of money, you know. And sometimes what happens, like I said before, when you go to a private college, there's a lot of students that got in because they paid the money, right? I'm not saying they're not going to be good students, but majority of the people, they probably, they're probably not there for the right reasons right away. And the, and, and the ones that don't, that don't belong there, they'll, they'll slowly start weeding away failing out or just quitting because they feel like, oh, this is when I, this is not what, this is, was not what I thought, you know, going to extra school, you know, we, it's a lot more than just pressing a button and just knowing bones, you know, it's a lot more in depth. So a lot of people just kind of drop out and then weed out on themselves. But, um, that's the only reason I try to push away, you know, people from private colleges is just so expensive, but I have a lot of respect for the man because you can go and get your degree faster than the traditional way, you know? So that's that's another way that can that you can do it, which, you know, either way is fine. But just know that, you know, if your financial if your finance and your budget lets it fit or if you have a plan to pay it off after, then go for it. Nothing wrong with that, right? And the third way is this. Yeah, online, man. Online. I didn't even know this existed, bro. I didn't know that this has existed. I, I in the back of the day I was like, man, you can't go to school online, you can't do radiology online. But now you can, you know, John Hop is it John Hopkins? I don't know, but I'll find a name and I'll put it up here. But yeah, man, so you can do it online and it's a two year program from what I know is legit. Now, of course, you have to do your own due diligence, you know, go ahead and do your own research and uh, and find out for yourself. But yeah, it's online. You do, from my understanding, you go to school online and then I think one, once or twice a week, you go to your local hospital and do your clinical hours from what I was told. Now, I'm be honest with you. I wrote, I, 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 I talked to one of my coworkers about this, and they're like, "What kind of texts you think they're gonna be? Are they good texts? You think they're gonna, you gonna, you think they're gonna be good texts because they went to online school?" I was like, "That's a good point. I don't know. You know, I'm not sure. You know, because when you go to online, nobody really knows you. You know, you don't really have to compete to get in. You know, even at a private college, you get to at least see your classmates every day and kind of get to know who they are. When you're online, you're on your own." You still got to go to clinical, so you still have to learn hands-on. But, you know, what kind of students come out of online education? I don't know, man. And that's something that that you as a person, I think that determines you as a person, you know, because if you know you lack stuff and you know you're going to go to clinicals and you have you don't know nothing, you've never seen a machine. At least when you go to private school, they have portable machines there. They have mimic x-ray, x-ray machines so you can kind of, you know, uh, position each other and, and kind of learn, you know, the ropes before you go to the hospital so you kind of have an idea. But if you go online, you know that you don't have that at home. You're like, oh, so when you go to a hospital, you're going to be totally lost. So what kind of tech are you going to be? How fast is it going to take for you to really capture that, you know, that all the, all the hands-on experience? And what I say it means on a person is that if you know you're going to go to school online and you need extra help, it's up to you to either come in early and stay late or come in on a day that you don't have to be there just to kind of get more hands on that way your hospital your local hospital be like man you know what they're really trying they really want to be good they're going to be good because they're putting the extra work that all lies within the individual and what they want to do you know but guys yo that's the three the three ways to get into radiology tech program in 2025 as you know man every hospital is short staffed in x-ray at least in florida you know we all need techs out there And uh, yeah, man, we look forward to you guys. As always, man, thank you for watching and you know, I'll be back.